Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Dani here and today's video I'm going to show you how to make the maple beanie, the super easy and beautiful hat that it's made with circular needles. It's a knitted pattern. I'm super excited to show you these. It's been requested for a lot of you guys on my Instagram so I'm super happy to finally uh, bring this pattern to you. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. Also, quick reminder, um, the pattern, the reading pattern for this hat will be on my blog. The link is always in the description box below and also in the first comment of this video. So now let's get started. To make this hat, you will need one skein of worsted weight yarn. I'm using the Pay Payton's Canadiana. Um, this skein comes with 100 grams, 205 yards or 187 meters. You will also need an 8 millimeter circular needles. These are um, 16 inches but you can use a longer one if you want. And you will also need a stitch marker, scissors and a tapestry needle. So to begin you need to make sure to leave at least 2.5 meters of yarn and we're gonna use the long tail cast on method to cast on these stitches so this is how I do it you can do it however you prefer and like I mentioned before um, if you want you can use the magic loop method to knit this hat or you can also use the 16 inches millimeter um, no 16 inches <laughs> long circular needles so we're gonna cast on 48 stitches okay so continue doing this until you have 48 stitches so now I have my 48 stitches and I will be casting on an extra stitch just to join the round you can do this or use whatever technique you know to um, join the round. So for me, I do an extra stitch. Now pull your stitches and join the round. Now you can place your stitch marker or round counter and we're gonna start knitting. So as you can see I have a little extra yarn in here. Don't cut it because we're gonna use that to close the hat. And this pattern is super easy. We are just gonna knit or do the stockinette stitch all the way around through the entire project. The first row might be a little tight, so don't worry, it's not gonna be like this the entire time. It's just the first row, so you can do it um, slowly and make sure that um, you don't drop any stitch. And after the first row, you are gonna have um, a better experience with, the, with your needles. So continue doing this all the way around throughout the entire project. So if you are using the same skein of yarn that I'm using, then you're gonna need until you run out of yarn and until you have a little bit extra just to close your hat. But if you are not using the same one, you are gonna need until you have 130 rows. So in here, what is super important about this hat is to keep a super even tension throughout the entire project. So try to have as even tension as possible because that is going to make your hat look better and you're not going to have like million bumps and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you in a second how do I do 
to keep the same tension all the way. So I grab my yarn and wrap around my pinky finger just like this a couple times and then I pass the yarn from the back of my hand and I do this all the time and this is how I get this super nice tension and I make sure that the tension is even all the time. So this is the perfect project to play around and see what works for you and you can then figure it out how to get your perfect tension. So continue doing this for 130 rows or until you run out of yarn. <laughs> So once you're done, you should have a super long tube like this. And I have in here a bit left of yarn and I'm gonna grab my tapestry needle. And I'm using this super awesome new tool that I just got from Clover and it's perfect. It's helping me so much to thread my yarn. I will leave the link in the description box below if you wanna check it out. And now you are gonna take all these stitches from your needle, pass it to your tapestry needle, make sure you don't drop any stitches, otherwise your project is gonna be ruined um, and it's never fun picking up stitches, so make sure to do it slow. And once you're done, this is how the hat is gonna look when it's closed, but we're not gonna close it just yet. Um, and then you're gonna do the same for the other side of your hat, like for the other um, part, the other extreme, I guess, <laughs> of your hat. Fold it in half, inside out, just like this. And now with your tapestry needle, we're gonna sew the top of the interior. So make sure to sew it properly so the hat will not be open. And once this is done, we're gonna do exact the same thing for the outside, but before sewing it, we're gonna grab the two strings of yarn and make a few knots. Be careful, not too tight, but obviously we want the two sides of the hat to be attached. And now with your tapestry needle, do this a few times, pass through the inside of your hat to the outside, back and forth for a few times so then you're gonna make sure that the hat is super secure and both ends are attached properly and secured. And once you feel that it's nice and secure, do a few more knots inside and then you can cut the yarn or use it to attach your pom-pom. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut the yarn but leave in a little tail so then I can use that to attach my pom-poms and give it a little pull so the stitches are nice and even. And that's it. Now you can fold your brim and you're gonna have a pretty much four layered hat. This is not a super fast project, but it's super pretty and it's worth it, I promise you. It's super nice, super easy to make. You can adjust the length however you want 
and yeah i really really hope you guys enjoy this video if so please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel remember that i will leave the link to the reading pattern in the description box below and also in the first comment of this video and if you don't follow me on social media please go ahead and do it because i'll be posting pictures and fun stuff all the time over there so yeah i really hope you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye